Ow! Yeah. This reminds me of when you were three oh. and your dog died. What yes. has my dog got to do? Why would you because mention that? Yes, you because in slavery, that. remember when you couldn't laugh? You oh. couldn't laugh, but now you can. What? So that's why you're slavery. stressed out. That's why you're stressed out. <laughs> okay, I'll get you counselling. I will get you counselling that you need. <laughs> No. I think I miss my wife. <laughs> you know what, Robert? <laughs> Fuck you and everybody who live in your house. What's the three percent right here? Three percent. Three percent. Three, 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 three. Oh, we own ninety-seven percent. The three percent you retain. You retain that. Yeah, yeah. Understood? Return, and you look at the severity of the situation. Yeah. Is it that deep? Baby! <laughs> 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 Three dudes coming on me, on me. Give me them cheeks, boy. I'm on top. Now I'm on bottom. He's inside. Two more guys coming in. Oh my god, now they're rotating. I'm coming, I'm coming. This dude is insane. He literally ate my shot. He's so loud. <laughs> You're out there. Right, What's wrong? Are you crying? Have you got a lighter? Thanks, babe. Thanks. Boys, he cheated on you. Oh my god, listen, mate. You are beautiful, right? You don't need a man. You don't need a man to tell you what to do in life. Do you know what I mean? Honestly, I'll tell you what, you get a right nice lad in there, right? You know what to do tonight, right? I was dying for a fad, go. Honestly. My bloody chunks on. Let's, oh, go. let's go. Come on, Just Jane. come on. Come, come in on, with us. Right? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Life's a bitch and then you die, right? Sometimes. Sometimes life's a bitch and then you keep living. Yeah. Because this is the moment you realize something inside you is broken and it can never be fixed. This is me, though. It makes me happy. in London, you know that recently there's been a lot of cases of people getting their phones stolen by guys on bikes. So, when I'm cycling past someone and I see them put their phone in their pockets, I don't complain because, you know, I'm a young black guy on a bike, you know, I'm dressed in all black. Obviously, I'm not about that life, but, you know, I'm dressed in all black, so it's understandable. But, when I'm carrying a fucking pizza box and I'm cycling with one hand or sometimes even with no hands, how the fuck do you expect me to grab your phone? Why are you still putting your phone in your pocket? What third hand am I going to have to magically grab your phone? Like, I find that quite offensive that even when the chances of me grabbing your phone are thin as fuck, you still get shook. 
Like, honestly, it makes no sense. You, you see, <sighs> nah, because at this point, I just feel very targeted. Like, do they really think I'm some advanced phone thief where I'm going to use the pizza box as, like, some distraction so they think, ah, oh, la, 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 I'm no, I'm no criminal. I've got a pizza box. And then, boom, bah, got the phone and I'm gone. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I've got a pizza box in my hand. Like, what? <sighs>